hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is Kobe and this is skytech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create a subdomain for your domain so let's say you have um you know um, a domain which is like maybe kitechdigital.com this domain over here and then maybe you want a subdomain like let's say um demo or let's say maybe a different you know just to showcase a different side of your what of your website so let's say i want to create um a different you know um website but then i want it to be on um that same domain whereby i will just use a link whereby some people will click on it and then they'll go over there so that is what i want to show so let's say i want to create um um let's say a shop okay so i'll say maybe um shop dot kitech digital i want this kind of what kind of domain okay so if i click over here you realize that there is no you know um, domain like that but i want to create this kind of what kind of like you know a domain for a subdomain for this main what domain so what i will do is um first of all you need to log into your cpanel okay now for those of you who don't know the cpanel now cpanel is where you manage all your files and your your website files and other stuff of your what of your hosting so um if you bought like you know if you buy um your domain and then your hosting um you the the web host will send you a um, link to your what to your c panel so you get the the login link and then you know the login url over there so make sure that you log into it now if you don't know how to log into it too you can ask your web host they will send you the link and then you'll be able to what, log into so make sure that you log into so this is as you can see this is my what my c panel over here okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a subdomain so what i'll sc i'll scroll down over here to um this place which is called what subdomains over here so you see under domains over here we have domains add-on domains and then what subdomain so click on what subdomain over here just click on subdomain and then you'll be redirected to this place. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of what subdomains over here. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to create what um, a subdomain which is called a shop. Okay. So I just want this one which says what shop over here. Now, after writing the name shop, I'm just going to click outside and you see that all the other things have been filled already. Okay. Now, of course, if you have so many domains in it, you can choose select the domain that I want. But I want this particular one, which is my main domain and then the root will just pick this one and then add your domain to it to make it with the document root i'm going to leave it as it is and then all what i need to do is to click on what create over here now as you can see the subdomain has been um, you know created for us it has been created okay so as you see it says it's a success shop dot um kitech digital dot com has been created so we have our subdomain so as you can see over here our subdomain is created for us and we are ready to what to use it to um, do whatever thing that we want to do with it so if we type in shop dot kitechdigital.com let's see if it is working yes as you can see over here everything is what is working now now what we have to do is um now that we have created our subdomain um, we have our subdomain working all right we have we need to um, install wordpress on it so that is the second thing that we are going to do we're going to install wordpress on it so that we can use it to create our website but of course this is how you can be able to what, create a subdomain for your um, you know for whatever you want to use it to do okay now let's go back again and then um let's go to the subdomain so as you can see this is um the subdomain that we created where is it let me go to the next um you know side of it now i've created a lot of subdomains so um sometimes yeah very good this one over here okay so this is a very subdomain that we created okay this one over here and it is what it is working perfectly over here now let's go to um you know back over here and then we want to what we want to um you know install wordpress on our subdomain that we created okay so in the same c panel um that is where we are going to what, install wordpress on our subdomain okay so guys um i hope you are enjoying the video um if you are enjoying it um i would love you to what to you know leave a like 
over here and then comment you know anything that you want to say about it and then let's go if you haven't also um you know subscribe to the channel please do subscribe to the channel and then um you know so that i'll be able to create more content for you guys so that you'll be able to what um learn as you go so to install wordpress on it you can decide to what just search for what wordpress okay just search for wordpress now as you can see this is what um, wordpress managed by what software clause now you can also what decide to what um you know scroll down and then you see this one over here which is what software clause app installer okay now if you don't see it over here just scroll down okay you're gonna see it down over here okay now as you can see there is also what um wordpress by what software clause over here but this is what um in my name chip those who are using name chip this is what you're gonna what click on so just click on it because it's a script we're gonna install the script on it so click on it and then it will direct you to what to this place over here okay so as you can see um this is what wordpress and you know we want we lot we love to what install it on our what on our subdomain okay so how do we install it just click on just install now and then choose the subdomain that you what we um you know we we created choose it okay and then you know make sure that um if you haven't installed ssl on it make sure that you do that before you what you choose uh, ssl now if it is not ssl um, if you don't have SSL on this subdomain, all what you need to do is what to choose the one without what SSL, okay? But of course, I have SSL on it because Namecheap give me what free SSL whenever I create I create what a subdomain for it. So as you can see, it is what it is working perfectly. Now you can give your site name over here. So what is the site name? So let's say I want to say what shop or maybe um, Kitech shop, okay? You can what just give it the name and then um your site description so what is the site description anything that you want to what, write over here that will be the what the site description it means that um what your website is all about okay so make sure that you what you create um a description for it so this is what um you know uh, an online shop okay an online shop and then um your you can what you can choose your um, username so what username do you want to choose for it so i want to say what kitek okay and then you choose what a strong password so of course you can choose make sure that you choose a strong password or you can use this one um make sure that you save it so that um, you can be using it all the time or if you like just choose what a password for it i'm going to hide this one and then choose my password for it make sure that the password is what is very strong okay so as you can see i've chosen what a strong what password okay so um this is my password i can also what come over here and then um you know change this email address and then put in my own what my own email address in it okay now of course if you want to enable multi-site okay you can what choose this one if you want to disable wordpress cron you can also uh, choose this one now if you don't know anything about it do not touch it okay it is um perfectly for you to leave it as it is don't touch it okay very good so now that we have everything set up um if you want to what um you know select some plugins over here you can what you can choose the plugins that you want to set up but i don't want to uh, select any plugin i feel like everything is okay if you want to choose a um you know a theme to start with you can what you can choose a theme to start with, but i'm not going to what choose anything because i will install my own theme over here and then over here um your wordpress installation details so i want it to go to my what my website uh, my email address this email address over here and then i can click on what install now to what to start installing the what the wordpress for me so as you can see it's um you know starting installing and checking the database and other things it will finish within a twinkle of an eye and then it is done congratulations the software was installed successfully so wordpress has been installed successfully now we can what we can go ahead and then what check our website so as you can see this is what the previous one that we checked and if i refresh it right now it's supposed to what give me the new website because we put installed wordpress on it and that is it now if i want to go to the back end of the website i can click over here and then it's going to take me to the what to the back end of the 
website so as you can see wordpress installed successfully and now we have our what our website to start um designing and doing everything that we want to uh, want to do it so this is how you can be able to create a subdomain and then also install wordpress on a subdomain so um for those of you who wants to uh, install wordpress on a subdomain this is how you can do it now for those of you who wants to uh, create a subdomain and then install wordpress on it this is how you can also be able to uh, to do it thank you for watching i hope this video helps you to install wordpress and then also to create a subdomain for your what for yourself and then for your business please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to like and share this video thank you bye bye